I see you. Do you see me? You're, we're all fine now. Okay. Anyway, hey, this is Junkers Review. Uh, I'm James Calloway. This is Force Ghost Frankie Miller. I don't know what the deal with this camera is, but we're here to talk about Fly Me to the Moon. It's a movie that we saw last night at the Regal Mystery Movie. Um, they show a movie early, uh, and at, for, the tickets are usually discounted. It's a it's a movie about basically the mission the mission to the moon, how they filmed an alternate. Uh, uh, an alternate version of it to show to the public uh, to make it so that everything went exactly right. It stars, stars Scarlett Johansson, uh, who actually also was a producer on this movie. Uh, it stars her, it stars Channing Tatum as the flight director, as, as, as Cole Davis, the flight director. Um, it stars, stars Woody Harrelson as uh, Mo Burkus. Really, those are the three main characters for the whole movie. Woody Harrelson is like some. Uh, I don't know if he's CIA. He's some kind of government spook. He hires, goes after Scarlett Johansson's character, Kelly Jones, to basically film a fake moon landing. First, he hires her to um, sail the moon, to sell it. Oh, to- yeah, that's that's true. But don't you think that it was always in the back of his... I think it was always in his... I think he always had the plan of filming a fake moon landing to go in conjunction with the real one. I think you and I both like this movie. I mean, uh, why don't you talk about what you thought about it? I thought it was uh, very interesting. I didn't, I didn't get it when they started talking about the doing the fake moon landing, just in case I never, I never got that at the beginning. I never thought that was a, the, Oh, I mean, it's common. I mean, I just think that was, they they had planned on that. I think that they thought there was something that could that all they always thought something could go wrong. So they always planned on doing that. I think they just lied to Kelly Jones. I think they just lied to her character, told her she was going to sell the moon landing. She did. She sold the moon landing. She had like product placements and and TV spots and all that stuff. But I think it was always in the mind of the government to broadcast, at least in this movie, probably in real life to broadcast a fake version of the moon landing to the public. They didn't want peep the, uh, America going up against the Soviet Union at the height of the Cold War to, to burn their astronauts up in in space on live TV. They didn't want that. I don't know what did you like what did your audience think? Oh, the audience was clapping and laughing. Um I thought it was a, I think her character was a little was a little unbelievable at times when she would like put on these personas to to woo these different congressmen yeah. being from the South and she's from the North. And then she was pregnant. Oh no, that was when she was trying to, trying to sell the seatbelts, trying to sell Ford cars. Yeah. I thought that whole aspect of her character was unneeded. I mean, number one, I thought it was unbelievable. I mean, for like at the end when she's trying to sneak off using a different uh, character from, I mean, lady, you're running from the CIA at probably the height of the intelligence agency's power in U S politics. And you, you think that you're just gonna, I I just, I didn't see that was an entirely unneeded aspect of her character. I think if they had taken that out of the movie, it would have been the same movie. I mean, if it would just had her having, if it would have just had her sitting in her hotel room, wishing that she had done something better. So she could, uh, wouldn't have damaged her relationship with Cole Davis's character. I think that would have been better than her sneaking off to an airport. Yeah, so she I mean, opened, then when she opened that, that that's right. uh, Cole Davis is the flight director. Over the course of the movie, they yeah, Ray Romano was in here for some reason. Did you notice that? Yeah, he was like the assistant director. Yeah, but he didn't really do much except just wander around. I mean, he had like four or five uh, lines. I mean, I think they were just having Ray Roman, Romano in there to show uh, proof of life. So they get there, they go to the moon. Uh, Woody Harrelson is demanding them show the fake version. Uh, Kelly Jones uh, wants to show the real version. I think they never intended on broadcasting that. And so that putting that camera on there was just to placate her, just to shut her up. I, th- I think they intended on broadcasting the fake version the entire Well, no, they were going to use the, they were going to use the, they were going to use, remember though, they were going to use their, 
Well, actually, the camera was just filming. The camera didn't have any, didn't have any, didn't have any volume. So they were getting, they were, you're right, because they were going to use the, the astronaut. Well, actually, they were going to use the astronauts' voices dubbed over the actors. So they had that. The, Why are they going to have sound in space? What are you talking about? Um, you know, they were, you know, the actors on stage, plus the, you know, the actors in space or the astronauts, remember they were mimicking every movement? Yeah. <laughs> And they were going to use the astronauts' actual talking. They were going to dub that over. They were going to use the 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 actual. You know, you're talking voice. about how they they were filming the. I mean, they were showing the moon landing on the camera they had, and in the sound stage, they were trying to mimic their actions. Yeah. Uh, and at the same time, they were trying to fool Woody Harrelson. I mean, there was a bit of comedy in that. There's a cat. Well, no, I'm just saying that they, they, they were. I guess. I guess what I guess what I was saying is they okay. Uh, where I was going kind of makes sense in my head now. What are you doing? What are you talking about? What? You know, they were saying they were going to fake the moon landing. Yeah. I guess they were thinking if they do land, they'll do everything. If not, I understand now about the camera. The camera didn't work. It wasn't going to work, didn't work, but they fixed it, made it work. I think they just did that whole thing with the camera to make her character happy. So they didn't have to take her off in the back and shoot her. <laughs> I don't think they had any intention on broadcasting any of that stuff. The movie doesn't make it clear, though. I mean, that it, you're, you are right about that. It leaves it open to interpretation. Because uh, they, on, they only they only messed with one little mo circuit board in that camera. They didn't just completely make it. Then how would they? They were supposed to take it apart anyways. Wouldn't NASA, NASA engineers figure out, hey, there's a component missing out of the camera when they took it apart to make it lighter? It had to make it I, I think the NASA engineers all, I, 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 I don't know. It was directed by this guy, Greg Berlani, Berlanti or something like that, uh, whatever his name is. Anyway, I mean, who cares what he does? His, uh, you were never in a million years going to guess what his claim to fame is. Howard the Duck. Uh Close Dawson's Creek. That's the guy they got. <laughs> Never saw an episode. Yeah, they spent a hundred million dollars on this movie. I don't know what they spent it on. I mean, I'm not saying it was a bad movie, but it was not a hundred million dollar movie. Yeah, there was a lot of CGI when they would go into that. Uh, not 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 a hundred million dollars for dude. I mean, I don't think the I don't think I don't think the bog the I don't think the budget for Bad Boys the the Bad Boys movie we saw three or four weeks ago was much over a hundred million dollars. And think about all the action and real effects and CGI and that thing. And then compare it to this movie. Well, yeah, you I can't make that argument. You cannot say this looks like a hundred million. This this looks like a hundred million dollar movie if Disney produced it. They are, their movies have obviously at this point have a lot of grift and stuff. And there's just no to me, unless the actors charged a lot of money, there's no I think reason it was, why I think it was in the CGI movie. of all of the space. <laughs> Actually, the CGI looked pretty good, but I mean, you've also got to consider that that was a very small part of the movie. I mean, most of the movie, to its detriment, was spent running around wacky capers with with uh, Kelly and Cole. And the first, I thought the first 20 minutes of the movie was just dog shit boring. You know, another thing that I noticed that, uh, I, let me, I don't know how long that movie was, but okay, so the running time is 132 minutes which is just over two hours. Uh, the Regal app had that movie listed as being like two hours and 45 minutes or something like that. I was expecting the movie to be a lot longer. I'm glad it wasn't because honestly, uh, they kind of, they kind of wore it thin by the end. Her multiple, her multiple, um, personas or fake identifications that could all have been cut out yeah they, they could have they could have all they could have just said hey we're, you're going to do this or we're going to kill you and that'd be the end of it yeah she could have just been an ad executive hired to sell the moon mission and then later on hired to hired to i don't know I, and so this is another thing i mean she's an ad executive but that doesn't mean she's like a hollywood producer i mean it was, I mean, it was, it was kind of a stretch to have her put all, put all this thing together. There was a hilarious director, uh, the actual director of the moon fake thing. I thought he was funny. And for the life of me, I can't remember that guy's name right now. I'd, I'll have to look it up later, but he was funny. 
his interaction with uh, oh with the with the Woody Harrelson's character yeah, yeah that his, was his interaction with Mo was hilarious <laughs> the, the whole thing was funny are uh, you a real person <laughs> are you for real there um, was an assistant that just got on my damn an assistant to Kelly uh, they just got on my damn nerves she was like some hyper feminist griping about Nixon she was just sitting there bitching about him it was just obvious obvious to me that it, it was either the director or Scarlett griping about Nixon I could I, I just got tired of her character I didn't think she I didn't think she added anything to the movie you know who I think added something to the movie besides those two those two the, the techs oh the two techs oh, they were yeah fun. whenever they went on that that uh wacky adventure trying to they had to go break a store break into a store and st- they had to go find a television set and basically they they find the only electronic store i guess and wherever they're at i don't remember cape canaveral and it's closed the guys on lunch they break into the store steal the tv set and it's a hilarious scene I don't think for the life of me it ever actually happened, but it was funny. They ended or, up with a police escort. Or when they or when they broke when they when they broke when they snuck into the secret set with mustaches to Oh put, yeah, 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 yeah. That was funny. And it wasn't that little guy smoking and and you know, these 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 blacks, these, these black side CA guys ain't like, hey, you're not supposed to be here. We're gonna shoot you. They're like, ah, just go ahead and fix it. We don't care. Just two unknowns. Working on the working on a secret camera. I mean, so I, I don't want to give I'm I mean, I don't know that there's any spoilers to give away here. It was just about the mission to the moon. Um you know, if you're a conspiracy theorist, I guess you're gonna go to this movie and think, well, really what they're trying to do is they're trying to get it in the mind of the public that yeah, yeah, we went to the moon, even though the footage was fake. You know what I'm saying? A kind of a mind game there on the public i i thought i started off not liking the movie i ended up liking the movie uh it comes out july 12th or whatever which is you know it comes out next week i don't know if it's going to be a wide release movie do you think it'll be a wide release movie or a downtown yes it's going to be a wide release movie i mean think of the two two actors right now tenant tatum charlie johansson woody harrelson come on now yeah but i mean sometimes they i mean it's also coming out around despicable i mean I mean, minions and all that. It might, it might end up being a downtown West type movie, limited release. I don't know. I mean, it was funny. I liked it. I'm glad I saw it. I'll probably go see it again with Amanda. I mean, she'll. I think she'll want to go see that movie. Did you go see it with last time? Did you go see it with? Last time? Uh, she had to work, and I went to go see. She had to work overnight. I went to. I took the kids. Oh. Okay. They, they all, all three of my kids liked it. The we the, but I have to say we sat behind some people. Uh, that I mean. I mean, see, oh, I, I saw you saw it at downtown at the Riviera. I saw the Riviera, yes. Yeah, with stadium seating. I saw it at downtown West, where the seats are a little bit above, but you know, you hope nobody sits in front of you that's incredibly tall. Well, these two people sat in front of me that were incredibly tall, and <laughs> but they didn't like the movie, so they got up and left. Okay, that wasn't a bad. Yeah, not everybody likes every movie. So at the mystery movie, sometimes you see people come in if it's not their bag. They get up and leave. They only spent like three or four dollars. In the case of unlimited members, they spent, you know, zero. And so they just got up and left. But this guy, I would have had to move because this guy, honestly, I mean, I was like doing this, trying to see over top of his his and of course he had like to fit this movie, he had like 70s hair or something. I mean, it was you know, so but him, and his, him and his girlfriend didn't like it, so they got up and left. You know, actually, I saw it at downtown West, was, which honestly, for people who aren't from Knoxville, downtown West is kind of uh, it's an old theater, uh, it's an ice theater, but it's an older theater, it's kind of our, our overflow. Anyway, I'm gonna say, go see the movie, go see the movie, two thumbs up, two thumbs up from both of us. All right, this is uh, Junkers of You. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you. Actually, okay, I'm going to stop this because you and I have got another thing to talk about. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about and agree on criteria for uh, filming the next video. Did I I tell you what what happened when I called uh, PayPal the other day?